Are you open for business? Yeah, what can I do for you? I need the services of a superb auto mechanic. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, this looks exactly I like... I know. Uh... <laughs> okay. So what's wrong with the car? Oh, nothing major. It veers to the left, the plugs need changing, and there's uh, some minor body damage to the left rear fender. Okay, now that looks like a bullet hole. Urban decay. <laughs> Two thousand uh, be sufficient for your services? Yeah, sure. And of course, discretion is of the utmost importance. I bet you say that a lot. I do. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll work on the car in the back so that no one sees it. Outstanding. Now look, if I could just get your number for We'll the contact you. Good day. <laughs> Holy hallucination! <laughs> Pitch me, Mama. I must be dreaming. Joe, do you have any idea what this is? It's just a car, Andy. It's the Batmobile. <laughs> brought in by a guy? Yeah, Batman. Wrong, not Batman. Then who brought it in? Some guy brought it in. English guy? Yeah. Older fellow? Okay, yeah. Wearing a bowler hat? I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, come on, Joe. Let's take it out. Drive me to school. Annie, this is not the real Batmobile, okay? It's probably just a car they use in parades. Oh, come on, Joe. I'm begging you. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'll give you my crib tonight. And it's a rock that's painted green. Hey, have you seen Superman around here lately? Just go to school and forget about the car. Oh, I'll go to school, Joe. But I won't forget about it. <laughs> Been out there on your own, maybe feeling all alone. But deep inside, I thought that you knew. No matter where you are, a part of me will always be with you. No matter where you are, a part of you will always be with me too. Hey, Matt. You alone? Yeah, yeah, didn't I tell you? Andy and Joe and my mom moved out about six months ago. She left me the place so I could have my own bachelor pad, you dork. Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm such a dork, what am I doing with this? <laughs> <laughs> Buy new reed for oboe? The other side. Salsa night at Club Caliente. Dance the dance of passion. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. Oh, you're right, Ira. Let's go, buddy. What? I just wanted to show you the picture of the girl. That's right. And where this girl is, other girls are. Real ones. In the flesh. I gotta go. Oh, come on, buddy. You're the only one in school more boring than me. Yeah. So? So, we're going. But you gotta be 18 to get in. Oh, we will be, buddy. Just leave it to me. Now, when we're at the club, we're gonna be surrounded by babes. Babes everywhere. Hey, Lou. Hey, guys. Hello, Lou. You smell very nice. That's antifreeze, Ira. <laughs> On you, it's lovely. Well, if you can't make it this weekend, maybe we should just forget the whole thing. Girl problems? Why do I look puffy? <laughs> now, what I mean is, was that Lotus? There is no Lotus. What happened? She was supposed to come down here this weekend, but her square dancing team made the finals. She can't break the square. Sure, break my heart, but ooh, don't break the square. Hey, Joe, you ever been salsa dancing before? No, I don't go dancing. It's one of the least efficient forms of foreplay that I can think of. Oh, yeah, well, nothing compares to your old standby. Honey, I only have six months to live. Hey, look, dancing is a dating strategy, okay? It's right up there with putt-putt golf and uh, listening. Guys just pretend to do it early on in the relationship. You know, just how women pretend to like football. Oh, see, now, wait a second. I love football. You must be really crazy about me. No, I'm just crazy to try to expose you to anything new. Just forget I even asked. Wait a minute, wait, I had no idea. You, you were asking me out. No, Joe, I was asking you out salsa dancing. What the hell's the difference? Well, the difference is, after a night of salsa dancing, I'm not going to wake up screaming, oh, my God, what have I done? <laughs> okay, you're right. I should try something new. When are we going to go? Tomorrow night. Oh, I can't tomorrow night. I have plans. What are you doing? 
Uh, I can't tell you. Fine. Forget all about it. Look, we'll just do it some other time, all right? I have plans. All right, but don't wait too long because, uh... We have six months to live. <laughs> hey, Claire, what do you say we go salsa dancing tomorrow night after Andy's party? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. It would be fun. Girls' night out. We'll break a few hearts. We'll make the boys cry. Well, Lou, I have nothing to wear. Oh, don't worry. I'll bring something over. You will look fabulous. I will look fabulous. We'll knock them dead. So why are you asking me? What is with you people? I am not asking you out on a date. I am not madly in love with you. I just want to go salsa dancing. <laughs> salsa night. Come dance the dance of passion. Well... Lotus, my so-called beloved, too, can play at this game. <laughs> Buy new reed for oboe. <laughs> mm. They're promising quite a night. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, what is this? All your favorite stuff. Coffee, toast, and a little something I like to call... Eggs, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. No need to thank me, Joe. Hey, today's your birthday, right? Happy birthday. Thanks. Nice of you to remember. But enough about me. How's work? Any unique cars come in lately? Um, no, not that I can think of, pal. Oh, come on, Joe. I'm seven. Six is gone, and it's not coming back. Before you know it, I'll hit the big one-o. -oh, and what will I have to show for it? <laughs> Andy, forget about it, okay? You're gonna have a great party night at Cheesy Jimmy's. Lots of presents. Things, Joe. Just things. Andy, will you please forget about it? Look, I'm gonna go wash up, all right? You're not mad, are you? Yeah, Joe. I'm not mad. All right. Thanks again, pal. Ugh. I should have gone with the pancakes. <laughs> It's not that I don't appreciate it. It's just that I don't think this outfit is really me. Uh-huh. That's the idea. There. Done. Ta-da! Oh, my God. I look like Anne margaret from Kitten with a Whip. Yes! Exactly the look I was going for. I look ridiculous. No, no. You look great. Totally unlike yourself. Not that that Diane Sawyer, Virginia Slim's PTA thing doesn't work for you. Thanks a lot. You don't think my hair is kind of... Big. No, no. There is no such thing as too big hair on salsa night. Besides, when men see you in this outfit, do you know what they're going to do? Reach for their wallets? <laughs> Look, Lou, why don't you just um, go by yourself? Oh, come on, Claire. Live a little. You need some adventure. Why don't you just dip your toe back into life? Well, as long as it's just a toe. <laughs> Trust me, you are going to have a fabulous time. Nothing says that you have to stop having fun just because you're old. Dur. <laughs> or just because you're annoying. Eh. Uh, come on, Joe. Hurry up. You've been combing your hair for over an hour. Hey, a look like this doesn't just happen. <laughs> wow. It's uncanny. You look just like Joe when he was 15. <laughs> well, not done yet. My mom's eyebrow pencil. <laughs> What kind of a club is this? <laughs> Women love a man with stubble. <laughs> Joe Roman, November 10th, 1975. Scorpio. Sheldon Stolzer, June 3rd, 1949. Certified public accountant. You took your father's ID? Well, it's not my fault I'm an only child. I wouldn't be so sure of that. <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, your mom has plans to go out. Well, I guess that makes me your youthful ward, wouldn't it? Andy, come here, pal. Look, I told you, this is a very expensive car, okay? And the guy paid me a lot of money to fix it and not let it leave the shop. I'm sorry. Look, I hate to say this, but you'll just understand when you're older. I understand, Joe. So I guess that means I'm older. No hard feelings? Nah. Can't blame a kid for dreaming. All right, buddy. Night. Night. I believe I'm gonna do this.
for an adventure? Ready? I was born ready. <laughs> nice outfit. What are you, prairie dog man? <laughs> Wanna call it off? You look fabulous. So, where are we heading? Once around the block, boy wonder. Top secret mission by special birthday request. Come here. No one sees us. No one hears about this. You got it? Got it. All right. Can I say it? Say whatever you want. To the Batmobile. Let's go. <laughs> Why'd you keep telling me no? Because if I had told you yes, you would have blabbed it to your mom and all your stupid little friends, and I would have had to get every kid in the neighborhood a ride. You're right. I would have done that. Yeah. You're so smart. That's why I wear the big cape. <laughs> To the Caliente Club. This is gonna be hot. Yeah. So I wonder what Caliente means anyway. That's probably the owner's name. Yeah. Now, if I was Joe, which I am, what would I do right now? Put one hand in my pocket, wait for a hot blooded chick to give me the once over. Ah, oh, well, look at this. <laughs> Caliente! She's calling the owner. She knows we're too young. <laughs> You're so sweet, mi chiquito. I could just cover you up with avenero peppers and gobble you right up. <laughs> Salsa! Well, then, when I was about five years old, my uh, mom and I lived in California. She was dating this guy named Hank, and uh, one day she got me all dressed up and said that we were going to go someplace special. So we jumped on the uh, freeway there, and uh, I started seeing these signs for Disneyland, right? Disneyland eight miles, Disneyland five miles, and then three miles and two miles. I was so excited. And we just passed. I never got to go. Joe, you're killing me. So where'd you go? I don't remember, Ann. See, that's the point. You are seven years old. You're not going to remember most of your friends. Not going to remember much about school. But this, I think you'll remember this. So this is all because of Hank? <laughs> kind. All right, Hank. <laughs> Look, Joe. That light. It's a signal. We're needed. Danny, it's just a spotlight. They put that outside of nightclubs and things. That's Hank talking, Joe. You're right. Atomic batteries to power. Turbine speed. Hola. Hola. Mmm, the music is good. Yes, it reminds me of my nights as a young girl in La Paz. Bolivia. Do you know Bolivia? I spent six years in the Coast Guard. A man gets around. But Bolivia has no coast. I just went where they sent me. <laughs> I miss it. So do I. What ship are you on? No, I miss Bolivia. The town square in Oruro. The bridge in Santa Cruz. Rurenavake. Cochabamba. Merengue? I really was there only a few weeks. No, would you like a merengue? To dance. Now you're talking my language. <laughs> You look great. I look like a transvestite, and everyone is staring at me. Well, they are looking in this direction. 
are you doing? Nothing. You're not doing nothing. You're waving. Stop doing that. What if they come over here? I haven't had a conversation in over a year. <laughs> well, I'll do all the talking. You just dance with whoever's left. What? <laughs> got here license and registration listen officer uh it's actually my little brother's birthday tonight i actually work in a garage back in philly and i'm taking him out well you're not back in philly now are you weirdo <laughs> let me see your license atomic battery to power not now robin <laughs> sir i i can't i can't seem to find it so no license huh maybe you left it back at the cave <laughs> let me see your registration there you go What's his problem? I think we're gonna go downtown, Andy. All right, jail. Wait all those criminals take a look at us when we come walking in. I bet you're glad you were in that cave now, huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm thrilled. I'll just call the commissioner. Put down the phone! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm really sorry to have detained you. Here's your registration. What? Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? Um, look, I think I speak for all cops when, when I say thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Again, I really apologize. Just doing your job, officer. Now let us do ours. <laughs> I got a kid brother, too. <laughs> Is this great or what? Yeah, who would want to leave this, huh? Hey, man, you haven't asked anyone to dance yet. You ought to try it. Hey, check out that eye candy in the corner. Oh, yeah? Yeah, where? The blonde with the big hair. Pretty hot, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, she's... Oh, my God, she's my mom! Oh, I just scoped my own mom, man! Oh, my God. I am so sorry I called your mom a blonde. Hey, you made me check out my mom. I'm gonna be in therapy forever. She's coming this way. You gotta get out of here. calls itself a salsa club. They don't serve chips. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío, tonight is magic. Come with me. Let us dance the dance that all dances spring from. The hokey pokey. <laughs> is that what the kids are calling it these days? Hold that thought. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Lotus paged me. Lotus? Lotus, my beloved. Your beloved? Oh, this is wonderful. I, I, I've got to go. Oh. This is wonderful. You toy with my affection when you love another? Eres una serpiente. Tienes que regresar al pollo de donde viniste. Oh, yo I told you, pal. It's just a spotlight in front of a nightclub. It's the ears, right? Chicks dig the ears. Yo, I'm telling you. It's a sign. Someone's in trouble and someone needs your help. Andy, no one is in trouble and nobody needs our help, okay? And who are they? Matt! Joe! Oh, thank God! You gotta get us out of here! Matt, what the heck is going on? What are you doing here? Mom's inside. She finds us. She's gonna kill us, Joe! Get in the trunk! Boy! Joe! No time for chit chat! Crank this baby up unless you want an international incident! Holy legroom, Batman! Let's get out of here! I can't believe they crowned me salt, the queen. Me neither. <laughs> they were nice. They were drunk. <laughs> well, the important thing is we both had fun. Bye, I told you so. Thanks, Lou. Yeah, anytime. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <gasps> you know, I cannot believe you, Matt. You were gonna be in so much trouble. How did you even get into that place? I borrowed your driver's license. <laughs> I can't believe you did something so stupid. Me? Look at you. Is Gotham City still underneath the mercy of Mr. Freeze? <laughs> guys, guys, don't fight. We had an adventure. We got dressed up. We went on a chase. We had a rescue. You know the kid's right. The only thing missing was an arch villain. Hold it right there, caped crusader. <laughs> to the Batmobile. Let's go. Is this the end of our caped crusaders? <laughs> Will Lloyd escape?
escape the clutches of the lustful Lupe? Will Matt be grounded forever by his arch nemesis, the mom? Will Andy always sleep in a cape? Will Lou ever regain her salsa queen crown? And will Joe continue to fight crime in the guise of Prairie Dog Man? <laughs> to find out, keep watching Brotherly Love. Same Brotherly Love time, same Brotherly Love channel. <laughs>